Welcome back to our channel. Today we're diving into one of my absolute favorite plugins for stable diffusion in Paint Anything. This ingenious add-on harnesses AI to identify various elements within an image, enabling you to either extract them or seamlessly paint them into something entirely fresh. While it may sound intricate, navigating its user-friendly interface makes it an absolute breeze. To install this extension, we'll need access to the JIT repository, conveniently provided in the description below. Navigate to the Extensions tab, and within the sub-tab, select Install from URL. Utilize the URL provided in the description of this video, paste it in and click Install. In my case, it's already installed. You'll receive a notification once the installation process is complete. Then simply restart the web UI. Voila, all set. Before diving into using the InPaint Anything extension, let's address a key aspect. This extension offers a variety of models that can be downloaded via the GUI. While there are numerous options tailored for different purposes, for now, let's simply select the first model and initiate the download. Keep an eye out for the download complete notification once it's finished. Meanwhile, let's explore how we can utilize this extension. To begin, we'll click on Run Segment Anything. Typically, the default parameters work just fine, so there's no immediate need for adjustments. On the right side, you'll notice a visually captivating version of our image. These differently colored regions represent individual objects identified by the SAM model. Now, on to the fascinating part. Press the S key to zoom in for better detail. Watch as I interactively draw on the image to select specific regions. You have the flexibility to choose as many or as few regions as you like, using single dots or entire strokes across multiple areas. Essentially, we're identifying objects for manipulation later. In this instance, I'm selecting all areas related to the dress. It's important to note that the dress may not be uniform in color across all regions, so attention to detail is crucial. Subsequently, we'll create a masked area based on our selection. This not only aids the extension in in-painting a specific area, but also serves various other purposes, as you'll see later. Simply click on Create Mask and Stable Diffusion generates a mask encompassing all the selected areas. With the mask generated, let's demonstrate a simple application using text to image. While there are several default in-painting models available, additional models can also be added. For the latest information on supported models and their installation, refer to the Git repository. For our purposes, the default option suffices. We input green dress into the prompt, and as you can observe, the color and texture of the dress transform from a crimson hue to a rich green tone. However, the capabilities of this extension extend further. It can output alpha and standard masks, enabling us to utilize them in other programs for additional editing possibilities. In our final step, we'll seamlessly integrate an image editing program with the assets produced by Stable Diffusion to smoothly manipulate the image. Typically, the RGB or alpha mask will suffice for adjusting colors and textures. However, for more intricate editing needs, you might require a proper mask. Luckily, the InPaint Anything extension offers a quick and effortless method to segment not only AI-generated images, but also real ones. In our initial example, we revisit the dress we segmented earlier. Utilizing solely the RGB mask, we can tweak the hue and color of the dress, yet it lacks the ability to alter its style, akin to InPainting with stable diffusion. Moving on to a slightly more intricate scenario, We've not only isolated the clothing, but also the hair and intricate decorations adorning it. And of course, paying homage to computer graphics tradition, we've included the iconic teapot. For those in the know, it's a classic reference. Now who's up for purple hair? Thank you for watching our tutorial on using stable diffusion to segment pictures. There are so many different applications for this, from fashion to animation and more. We hope you learned something today and hope you will come back for more tutorials. And don't forget there are links in the description below.